YouTube, it's Chris. Welcome back to the channel. Banky Zell was so kind to send me out the XL2546K. So this isn't a sponsored video, but I want to talk about it, have a bit of a play around with it, talk to you guys about it, and show you guys maybe may maybe why you want to consider buying one of these bad boys. Um, I was a little bit skeptical when they sent it to me because they had sent me the S model as well, um, and then they took that away from stock, and I was a little bit confused why they did that. And now they've like kind of re-released it with a K model. Um, so when I got it, put it all in, started using it, I was actually incredibly impressed. Um, it's definitely a really, really nice upgrade. Um, you know, if you don't want to watch through the whole video, uh, long story short, um, it's got better diac technology. The sharpness is insane. Literally, it like wants to make my eyes bleed. That's how damn good the sharpening is, which is fantastic for me because I have astigmatism. So I don't even need to wear my glasses. I don't like to wear my glasses when I game. I don't need to now. The sharpening is insane on this monitor. The, the colors are fixed. The colors are much better on this monitor compared to the S, which is really, really nice. Um, and it's just an overall really snappy monitor. The overdrive settings, they come out of this thing out of the box by default are like perfect whereas the other monitors i feel like before you kind of had to tweak with it a little bit and play with it a little bit how this thing comes out of the box you plug and play it's fantastic it looks great there are a few changes that they've made um same with the s you've got free sync that you can use but you can't use it with the diac um they've got a whole sort of new panel so they've got a really nice sort of like clean panel here without like any buttons the buttons are actually on the back i really appreciate that actually i like the real clean look that they've got going um you've got their heads um you know the the headset stand on the back buttons on the back um a different kind of a stand which is really cool for people that like to sit up nice and close with their keyboards um so i'm using monitor stands myself so um it's useless to me but it's really really cool as you can see here you can actually move your keyboard closer to the monitor if you have your keyboard on, on a side you can actually move your mouse pad closer um whereas the monitor stand sort of doesn't get in the way so really cool um feature that they've done made some adjustments with the stand they've got a whole brand new ui interface and i really really like it because the first time that i booted it up it literally said good luck have fun i really appreciated that um they've got a profile sharing feature that you can actually share which is cool so if you could you, you can sort out a config that might work really really well for you and your game you can actually share it with other people they can like download it import it and use it really really cool stuff um, and a whole new sort of new UI, which is um, really, I thought it would be really annoying to use having the buttons on the back of the monitor, um, but it's really, really easy. And I really appreciate the sort of the new UI. I mean, honestly, guys, the, the colors are so much better on this thing. The sharpness is insane. Um, and the, the digital environments is actually so overpowering that usually I have it on 20 on my other monitors. I had to crank it down to 15. That's how damn good um, it is. Um, it does work with display scaling absolutely flawlessly and now that there's um, the sharpening is just so much better it's so much more viable especially for the counter-strike players that like to play uh, 1280 by 960 or something like that with forced display scaling um, you don't even need to worry like you don't even need to use any nvidia sharpening at all it's just like you can crank it up on the monitor and it's like eye beamingly good it's so damn clear um, so definitely like a step up um, from what they have before it's it's basically like the s but more redefined and much much better um great stuff what they've done here so that pretty much just covers it for the guys that just wanted to watch the first bit of the video next next bit of the video what we're going to do is um, i'm going to show you guys over the ui we're going to go into the um the extra ui settings that are hidden like the um service menu i'm going to show you guys force display scaling on the monitor i'm going to show you guys diac in action um and then at the end i'll just talk over on my general overall thoughts but um for the guys that don't want to watch the rest of this video it's snappy as hell guys it's fantastic um and something I noticed with the other monitors, okay, this might sound a little bit weird, this might just be me, but we're browsing and scrolling up and down with the older monitors with Diac, kind of didn't look quite right with the text, um, and that's fixed now. So it wasn't a big deal to me, but some people had messaged me about it and said they couldn't deal with Diac on when they were web browsing. Now it's like flawless. Um, a main Diac on completely, whereas I used to before just turn it off when I was web browsing, but now I just have it on all the time. So that's basically the sum up rest of the video. We're just going to go through a few little things in here, a bit of a walkover, I'll show you guys more about the monitor and yeah. Yeah, so this is when I first put the monitor on my monitor stand. Man, it was just so nice having such a clean UI with no buttons on the front of it. The problem is now I want another one for my streaming PC. So it's all matching. I've got the BenQ light bar and 
I'll flip it so I'll have it up on the top side when I need lighting for my camera and then I'll flip it down when I'm doing some reading. Really nice looking monitor. So I apologize about my camera skills. I've got a new camera. I'm just trying to get used to adjusting to it. So this is me um, sort of like had it unboxed. Um, all the bits and pieces here. And as you can see, we have a power cable on the left for it. I already had a power cable, so I didn't need to use it. So um, display port cable, no HDMI 2.0 cable came with it. Interesting, the manual, the side flaps, which I don't use, um, the monitor stand, um, the, the S switch, and, and like sort of like a, a monitor cover, which is cool. And then, yeah, the other bit of the monitor stand there. So um, I'm using HDMI 2.0 pass-through with a pass-through capture card, mind you. So... Um, yeah, I mean, I'm using my own setup. It's working fine. The monitor does have HDMI 2.0, but it's interesting how they do, you know, provide a display port, I guess, because, um, you know, most graphics cards, it's basically where we're going. You know, we're moving forward with higher refresh rates. So you basically want to be on display port, but if you're using pass-through capture card like me, 240 hertz, I need HDMI 2.0. Anyway, so this is the um, monitor here. And as you can see on the bottom right side, we've got a new UI. Once again, I apologize for my camera skills. I'll get there. Um, the video doesn't do justice on how nice the monitor actually looks. Surprising considering it's a TN panel. Um, the colors, you know, the whites and the blacks actually look really good compared to any other, um, Zowie monitor I've had. And I've had them all. I've had them since the 144s, even before they were BenQ were paired with, um, Zowie. So, um, always been using Zowie. Um, yeah, so this is the new UI and it's really cool. And I thought it would be kind of... Uh, dicky to use having the buttons on the back but there's actually a joystick on the back that you can change settings with um and it's actually incredibly easy to use kind of like a control joystick on the back so we're just going through the settings here back equalizer is actually insane um i don't even it, it's so insane i don't even need it i just have my brightness turned up color vibrance this is one thing that's so overpowered on every single monitor i've ever had before by zao bnq i have to have it on 20 i literally have to have it on 15 here because it's so overpowered um, so this is sort of the config that I'm running, um, different gammas, color temperature. I just crank those all the way up. You can play with it, but very, very similar to the other monitors. Just a really nice, uh, new UI, um, color weakness. I think that's a new one actually. Um, yeah, you can change the diac. I, I wouldn't see any reason to not have it on premium, honestly. Um, brightness. It's actually the brightness is so overkill, honestly. And the contrast, the video is not doing it justice. Sharpness, I have it on 10 on every other monitor and I have to have it turned down to 8. That's how overpowering it is, and which is a good thing, mind you. I'd much rather it be that way. Um, I'd probably crank it up to 10 when I do forced display scaling on lower resolutions, but have it on 8 for just chilling at 1080p with my astigmatism in my eyes. Um, here are a few other options here. Now, unfortunately, I tried to find the service menu and I couldn't figure out how to get into it. I don't think they, they're letting us do that anymore. Um, if any of you guys end up getting one of these and figure it out, would love to hear about it. I did a bit of a Google. I couldn't find anything. So I couldn't get into the service menu, but it wasn't a problem because the overdrive and the way it's set up is perfect. I feel like I don't even need to play with it or go in the service menu, which is nice. In the information tab, which is interesting, they don't say the active signal resolution, which they have done in the other monitors, which isn't a big deal because you can tell in the new Windows versions. But if you're using an older Windows versions, it's kind of annoying because if you want to check force display scaling, you have to sort of just rely on having no scaling through the graphics control panel. So I think this is Diac. These, um, this camera won't do it justice. We're at 60. There's a certain way I have to, certain thing I have to do to show you guys how, how a Diac actually works. So you, you guys won't be able to see anything. This will look probably horrible. Um, and I'm actually watching this myself, so yeah, this is Diac off. But anyway, um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take the camera off and I'm going to track the camera with the UFOs or the UFO on the top, you'll be able to see. So I'll turn Diac on. Pretty sure I turn it on here. Yeah. In real time, so you guys can see. Put it on premium. Follow the top UFO with me. Okay. Very, very clear. Right. Really, really nice in the eyes. I'm trying to snap to multiple targets in FPS games. Watch what happens when you turn it off on every other monitor, monitor that doesn't have a strobing. This is what you're dealing with. Ghosting. Horrible thing. See that? See around the edges of it? See how it's slightly blurred? Yeah, that's a thing on high refresh rate panels. And that's why Diac is a great thing. Thumbs up. So yeah. Um, 
Here's sort of me kind of screwing around with display scaling and I just wanted to show you guys once again, sorry about the video quality, but I don't know how all well this camera is showing, but it's so <laughs> responsive, this thing. Like, I don't deserve it. That's how responsive it is. It's honestly amazing. Like, hardware is so good now that it's literally at a point where you just have to get better at games. Like, you know, like, it's crazy, man. I've got it's such a good setup, but still need, just need to get better. <laughs> Probably need to play more Kovacs and practice more. But anyway, so at the moment, I'm just going through custom resolution utility. As you can see here, I want to force a display scale... Um, you know, a lower resolution that's actually going to be display scale. If you don't know anything about this, it's it's kind of a big deal. If you're playing a non-native resolution, it's going to be GPU scaling. You have to override it with custom resolution utility. Because otherwise, it's going to be GPU scaling. Mouse input is going to be absolutely horrible. And the image won't look clear. And you'll be relying on the GPU scale. So we want to rely on the, the display scale. So right now, I've just created the, the custom resolution I'm be pressing reset all. So go back and follow my um my latest display scaling video if you want to learn about that. It's basically life changing, especially for the Counter Strike players. I hope they will start allowing this in tournaments or they allow this in tournaments because you kind of need it anyway. So I just overrid the 720p resolution because I'm just going to use that as a test. It doesn't matter what resolution you use. Anything other than native, you need to make a custom one if you want it to be display scaling. So I'm trying to find 720p here. Um, an old boomer eyes here is trying to find it. There we go. Boom. Watch and look how damn clear this is. This is 720p. And it's so clear. It almost looks like native. That's how damn clear it is. The sharpness on this thing is insane. The display scale built into this thing is insane. And now it's like snappy. Right? Like native. If this And see how those two are matched up? That's how you know it's display scaled. 720p is display resolution. 720p is active signal resolution. Another way we can check that is go on the video control panel. Scaling be no scaling, but it's still full screen because the monitor is doing the scaling and it is so nice fast and snappy So overall guys love this monitor. Thank you Zowie. Thank you so much for supporting me, man Like I've been just a company that I've been standing behind forever Um, and it's so cool that they're um, you know supporting me and sending money out to me Um, not at all a biased review. It's genuinely a good monitor guys like if you're out on the market for a monitor This is the bomb like this is the best of the best especially if you especially if you want good sharpness, good like good colors for a TN panel with response, great response times, and you want to be able to do like a lower resolution, forced display scaling, like have your cake and eat it too, man. It's this thing is snappy as, yeah. So absolutely amazing monitor. Um, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Subscribe, like, share around. Look at that, how clear it is. It's 720p, but it's so clear. It's insane, man. Oh, dude. So happy with it. Take care, guys. I'm out. Bye.